I want to talk for just a few minutes about SEO, search engine optimization. It has such a mystique for small business owners. You know, a lot of a lot of business owners they spend what I believe is unnecessary money on SEO. And let me just uh, I've been in business now for eight years. I've coached hundreds of entrepreneurs and business owners. And let me just say this: SEO, the work of doing search engine optimization, is really best best used when you are have a medium-sized business when you already have a lot of um, you know people buying your stuff and you have a lot of traffic already SEO will help to amplify that to much greater heights it can but when you are just starting out or when you have a very small business you just have a some clients you're making a couple thousand dollars a month um, SEO when you just have a couple um, thousand visitors to your website a month SEO in my experience has been a, a, a waste of time and energy and and not just that it's really I think it's a waste of time and energy because the when you start getting into SEO and learning about it and trying to do it you can become inauthentic in your business because now you're just doing what other people want you to do you're just doing the Google searches to see what people are searching on and therefore I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do, you start to become a chameleon rather than being authentically you in your business, which is really where your strength comes from. And it's what makes your business sustainable. Because if you start becoming a chameleon and only doing what others want, sooner or later, you start to despise your business because you've lost your soul. Now, let me give you a little bit of tips in terms of how do you do SEO from an authentic perspective and I'm gonna have a whole a, a lot more notes in the description of this video so be sure to look at that but I'll just speak for a minute about SEO from an authentic pers authentic business perspective so the the keystone of SEO okay search engine optimization how does Google or YouTube or Facebook figure out what to show you when you search when anybody searches a particular term in a search engine, right? The search engines, Google, YouTube, SC, uh, Facebook, I'll just talk about that. They know how to, what to serve up to you as a result by seeing what other people have linked, what resources other people have shared, and that's what they show highly in the search results. So in other words, if you create a useful resource for others and they start to share it forward they start to link to it on their website then Google then YouTube then Facebook will show it highly in the search results so in other words be of use to others and your SEO will almost take care of itself truly that's what I've discovered okay now how do you be of use to others this is where a little bit of searching and researching can come in handy if you go to Google and you first you first ask your clients and your potential clients so if you are trying to look for a service like mine what would you search in Google what would you search in Facebook what would you search in YouTube okay first get get the opinions of some of your maybe some of your friends are your ideal type of client type of person right or some of your clients you've already served ask them what, what might you search in Google or YouTube or uh, Facebook to find information about someone like me or to find helpful articles that someone like me would write what would you search right and then try searching those terms in in Google and YouTube and uh, and Facebook and as you type things the search engine will start to suggest what you might want to finish typing and those suggestions are really helpful because that's what other people have been typing and in Google for example once you finish typing something and press enter you'll see the search results if you scroll down to the bottom of the search results you'll see related searches and that also tells you what other people have been searching now here's the key once you know what other people are searching and you search for those results and you see what the search results are what articles come up highly in the search results then it's your job to create a resource, create an article that is even more useful than the articles that are being showing up uh, highly in the searches. Or on YouTube, you search a term that you think your clients are searching, okay? And then you see what the top videos are, 
and you watch a couple of top videos and you go, hmm, how can I make a video that's even more useful than, than these search results? And then once you've created that video, that article, then you can go and share that online. And as you share that everywhere, people will start to pick that up and start sharing it as well. And they might link to it on their website. And that's the most authentic and simple way to do SEO. Now, I have to say one important thing. I'm actually not trying to do SEO anymore. I really am not. I'm not even doing the research like I've told you. I'm just making my videos in my own authentic way because right now, I'm just saying this in case you're wondering, George, how come your videos don't get thousands of views and how come your you know, web articles don't get hundreds of likes or whatever? I'm not trying to do SEO anymore. I'm actually quite content with where my business is right now and I'm quite content at the, at the gradual rate of growth that I'm having because I don't want, I can't handle more clients than I currently have already. So just in case you're wondering about my own results, I'm, I'm perfectly okay. But if you are trying to grow more rapidly, then I would recommend that you follow uh, the advice that I've given you in this video and be sure to look at the advice in the notes of this video. I give a lot more information about authentic search engine optimization.